Hello guys, welcome to Roadmap. Today we are going to learn wind storms and cyclones. And if you like the video, don't forget to click on subscribe button. And you can also give comments on the suggestion box. So, topics to be covered are introduction, air expand on heating, monsoon winds, winter winds, natural disaster, thunderstorms, cyclones, safety precautions and action on part of general people. Now coming to the introduction, you know that earth is surrounded by a thick layer of air called atmosphere which extends up to a height of several kilometers. Air has weight and it exerts pressure on the earth's surface. Pressure is ex exerted by the atmosphere on the surface of the earth is called the atmospheric pressure. Now let's learn air expand on heating. When air is heated, particles of hot air becomes further apart from each other. They move faster than particles of cold air. So we say that air expands on heating. When the air is cool, it contracts. Particles of cold air come nearer to one another and take up less space. So we say that air expands on heating, while hot air is lighter than cold air. As the particles in the hot air are farther apart from each other than the particles of cold air, we can say that hot air is less dense or lighter than cold air. Hot air rises because it is less dense than air at room temperature. Cold air sinks below because it is denser than the surrounding air. It takes the place of hot air. Pressure decreases with increase in temperature. Atmospheric pressure is not constant. It varies from place to place. This is due to the unequal heating of the atmosphere. Our earth has no heat and light of its own. It receives heat from the sun. The earth receives only a fraction of the total solar radiation. Earth's surface gets heated from the radiation it receives. Earth surra air surrounding is also getting heated. The hot air expands with increasing temperature. Molecules of air thus become less dense and hence exert less pressure. This is why the regions of regions are heated due to direct rays of the sun have low pressure. Regions of the earth that receive the slanting rays of the sun are very cold. This makes the air in these regions denser and heavier. Air in these regions sink. This creates a high pressure zone. Pressure differences cause wind to blow. Air from low pressure regions are light and rise up. Since the atmosphere constantly works to restore balance, heavier air from a high pressure region move to take up the space of the warm air in the low pressure area. The moving air is termed as wind. Now, as you know what is wind, let's learn about the atmospheric circulation. Wind currents are generated due to uneven heating of the earth. Winds are caused by the movement of air from a region of high pressure to region of low pressure. Speed of the wind depending on the differences in pressure, wind currents are generated in situations. Equator is a region of low pressure and poles are regions of high pressure. These differences in air pressure are caused by differences in air temperature. Warm air at the equator constantly rises, creating a low pressure near the earth's surface. Cold and dense air at north and south poles constantly sink towards equator producing atmospheric pressure. High pressure at the poles and low air pressure at the equator causes tremendous amount of air to circulate through the atmosphere. You can see from the diagram and understand that from the north pole to the equator, atmospheric circulation is taking place. High air pressure at the poles and low air pressure at the equator 
causes tremendous air to circulate. The Earth's rotation prevents winds from traveling across its surface in straight path. Rotation of the Earth causes a deflection in the direction of winds. They are lif lif uh, deflected to their right in the northern hemisphere and to their left in the southern hemisphere. So from these diagram, you can see the uneven heating of the Earth that is taking place. Now winds, the monsoon winds like summer and winter winds are the winds. The term monsoon has been derived from the Arabic term mausam as we all know. Monsoon winds are the seasonal winds which blow from the Indian Ocean towards the Indian subcontinent in one season and then retreat from land towards the sea in other season of the year. Monsoon brings heavy rainfall to India and its neighboring countries. So, there are two types of monsoon winds, summer winds and winter winds. Now, summer winds. Monsoon winds are well developed over the Indian subcontinent in the southern Asia. During summer season, the interior of the continent gets heated rapidly forming a region of low pressure. Low pressure attracts winds from the Indian Ocean in the south. These warm moist winds blowing from seas to land are summer monsoon winds and so they are called as onshore winds. Now let's learn about the winter monsoon. During winter, the continent cools rapidly and a high pressure is formed in the interior of the earth. Air pressure is lower over the Indian Ocean in the south because ocean is warmer than the land. Cold dry winds blow from the interior of the continent towards the ocean. These are winter monsoon winds. Monsoon winds exhibit a complete reverse in direction between summer and winter monsoon winds. Um, as you can get that, summer winds are onshore winds, so winter winds are offshore winds. Now let's learn about the natural disaster. Disasters that are caused due to natural reasons are called natural disasters. They pose a great threat to the survival of men and animals. Thunderstorms and cyclones are such situations when nature itself becomes a threat to the existence of human life. Thunderstorms A thunderstorm forms when moist, unstable air is lifted vertically in the atmosphere. Lifting of air results in condensation and release of latent heat. Lightning and sound produced are due to the swift movement of condensed moisture along with the rising air which causes thunderstorms. There are some safety precautions during storm and lightning such as do not take shelter under an umbrella with a metallic head. Do not lie on the ground. Take shelter under an isolated tree is dangerous during lightning. During lightning, it is not safe to sit near a window or take shelter in garages, metal sheds. Taking shelter in car or bus is safe. Swimming in a pool during a thunderstorm is quite dangerous. It is better to go inside in a building. Now let's learn about cyclones. Cyclones are huge revolving storms that are caused by blowing around a central area of low atmospheric pressure. When warm air rises from the seas and condenses into clouds, massive amount of heat is released. And this results into the mixture of heat and moisture, a collection of thunderstorm from which a tropical storm develops. Cyclones develop over warm seas near equator. The air heated by the sun rises swiftly creating areas of very low pressure. Cool air rushes in the rotation of the earth on its axis. Air is bent inwards and then spirals upwards with great force. Now let's learn about the structure of the cyclone. There are a number of structural characteristics common to all cyclones. The center is the area of the, from the diagram you can see that the center is the area of lowest atmospheric pressure known as I.
the center of a cyclone is calm and cloudless area. Winds around the eye can reach up to the speed of 200 km per hour and fully developed cyclone pumps out air of about 2 million tons per second. The diameter of the eye varies from 10 to 30 km. Now there are some destructions which are caused by cyclones. Cyclones create several dangers for people living around tropical areas. The most destructive force of cyclone comes from the fierce winds. These winds are strong enough to easily topple fences, shades, trees, power poles, etc. A cyclone churns up the sea causing giant waves and surges of water known as storm surges. The water of storm surge rushes inland with deadly power flooding low-lying coastal areas. Rains from cyclones are also heavy enough to cause serious flooding, especially along the coastal areas. The entire coastline of India is vulnerable to cyclone. The east coast is more vulnerable than the west coast in terms of intensity and frequency of cyclones. So this is all about the cyclones. Let's learn about the tornado. Tornado is a special kind of storm. It is a whirling wind circling around a low pressure center. A tornado reaches from a cloud to the ground as a vertical phenyl shaped column of air. A violent tornado can travel with a speed of about 300 km per hour. Its diameter can be small as a meter and as large as kilometer and even more wider. Tornado creates extensive damage where it touches ground. Tornado occurs very rarely in our country, but there are more common occurrence of tornado in USA and Canada. Now there are some safety precautions for cyclone prone areas such as implementation of early warning system for cyclones in a, is of prime importance for safety of people of cyclone prone areas. With the advancement of technology available, a cyclone alert can be issued two days in advance and message repeatedly broadcast in coastal areas for evacuation of men and animals. The warning is issued 24 hours in advance. Cyclone shelters should be considered in cyclone prone areas. Plantation of mangroves and forests along the coastline gives some protection against cyclones to the people of coastal areas. Food and medical facilities should be kept ready and relief distribution systems should be streamlined in disaster affected areas. To ensure safety against natural hazards, adequate attention needs to be given in planning, development and expansion of habitations. Action on the part of general people. Never ignore the warnings for cyclones issued by government and non-government agencies. Be prepared to shift your valuable household utensils, domestic animals and vehicles to safer places. Keep all emergency numbers of police, fire brigade, medicinal centers ready for use. Drinking water should always be stored at safe place. Do not let your children touch wet objects and broken power lines in the affected areas. In case of emergency, cooperate with the rescue operation team. So these are some of the safety precautions for cyclone prone areas and actions which should be taken by the people on their part. Thank you for listening to the video.